Congratulations! You're about to embark on an incredible journey of pregnancy. In this video series, we'll guide you through the miraculous stages of growing a baby, week by week. Let's get started on this amazing adventure together. Join us as we explore the remarkable transformation happening inside your body. From tiny cells to a fully formed baby, we'll be with you every step of the way. Don't forget to subscribe and let's dive into the magical journey of pregnancy, week by week. Week 1 to 4. During the first two weeks, the woman is typically not yet pregnant, as these weeks are counted as preconception. Ovulation occurs, and if fertilization happens during week 3, when the sperm meets the egg, a single-celled zygote is formed. By the end of week 4, the zygote implants into the uterine lining, and the placenta begins to develop. Week 5. At this stage, the embryo is about the size of a sesame seed. The neural tube, which eventually develops into the brain and spinal cord, starts to form. The heart also begins to beat, marking the beginning of the circulatory system. Week 6 to 8. During these weeks, the embryo experiences rapid growth. Facial features start to form, including the eyes, ears, and nose, which become visible. Major organs, such as the heart, liver, and kidneys, begin to develop. Limb buds appear, and the hands and feet begin to take shape. By the end of week 8, the embryo is considered a fetus. Week 9 to 12, the fetus continues to grow rapidly during this period. Facial features become more defined, with eyelids covering the eyes. The external genitalia start to develop, although it may not be distinguishable by ultrasound yet. Organs and systems, including the digestive, circulatory, and urinary systems, continue to develop and mature. Movements can be observed, although the mother may not feel them yet. Week 13 to 16, by this stage, the fetus grows to about 4 to 5 inches in length. Bones start to harden, and the skeleton becomes more defined. The circulatory and urinary systems are fully functional. The fetus can make small movements, and facial expressions, such as frowning and squinting, may be seen during ultrasounds. Week 17 to 20, during this period, the fetus's movements become more noticeable, and the mother may feel fluttering sensations known as quickening. Vernix casosa, a protective waxy substance covers the fetus's skin to protect it in the amniotic fluid. Hair and eyebrows start to grow, and the fetus's senses, such as hearing and touch, become more refined. It's also around this time that the sex of the baby can often be determined through ultrasound. Week 21 to 24, the fetus continues to grow rapidly, and its size becomes more apparent. It starts gaining more body fat, which gives it a more rounded appearance. The eyes can open and close, and the eyelashes are fully formed. Brain development continues, and the senses, such as taste and sound, become more refined. The fetus also establishes a regular sleep and wake cycle. Week 25 to 28. During these weeks, the fetus's growth continues, and it starts to fill out with more body fat. The movements may become more forceful and pronounced, and the mother can feel them more prominently. The lungs continue to develop, producing surfactant, a substance that helps with breathing. While still premature, the fetus has a better chance of survival outside the womb, although it may still require medical intervention and support. Week 29 to 32, the fetus experiences further growth and development. It may settle into a head-down position, preparing for birth. Body fat continues to increase, smoothing out wrinkles on the skin. The bones are fully developed, but they remain soft and flexible to facilitate passage through the birth canal. The fetus's movements may slow down due to limited space in the uterus. Week 33 to 36, as the due date approaches, the fetus settles into a head-down position, known as the vertex position, in preparation for birth. The body continues to fill out with more body fat. The lungs are almost fully matured, and the fetus practices breathing movements inhaling and exhaling amniotic fluid. The movements may feel different at this stage due to the restricted space in the uterus. Week 37 to 40, the fetus is now considered full term and ready for birth. The head may engage into the pelvis, 
indicating that the baby is in the proper position for delivery. The amount of amniotic fluid decreases, which may lead to a decrease in the fetus's movement. The mother may experience signs of labor, such as contractions and the release of the mucus plug, indicating that birth is imminent.